Thank you for joining me here live on Sky News Weather. Tropical Cyclone Debbie is currently a Category 2 cyclone. It is 500 kilometres off the coastline of Townsville and 395 kilometres off the coastline to Bowen. It has the perfect conditions currently offshore to be intensifying further, which it is expected to do so into a Category 3 later today. With more to say on this, this is Adam Morgan, a senior meteorologist from the Bureau of Meteorology. Conditions are perfect really for it to continue developing. So we've got sea surface temperatures of around 29 or 30 degrees, which are well and truly warm enough for, for significant cyclone development. There's no wind shear in the atmosphere to rip this thing apart. So it's going to be able to continue developing all the way from the surface to, to the top of the atmosphere. And then the other thing is it's got really good outflow at the top of the atmosphere too. So we, when you get the rising air motion inside the tropical cyclone, it's got to go out at the top and, and that's really uh, good as well. So we're actually seeing it develop a little bit faster than what we would normally see a cyclone develop. So uh, yeah, certainly expecting it to reach category three by later this afternoon and then uh, possibly Category 4 during Monday. Now the system is slow moving, moving at about 4 kilometres an hour in a southwesterly direction towards the coastline and intensifying. Here is the cone of probability as to where it will actually impact or where it has the potential to be impacting across Queensland. And here you can see in that red shading is the warning zone between Eyre and also St Lawrence. And then a watch zone does also extend even further north to Cairns and even further inland out to Charters Towers and also Mount Coulon. Now we can see a tracking in a southwest direction and it's specifically de developing into a category three into later today and we will be feeling the impacts of that into today so into this afternoon the major impacts that will be uh, felt are gale force winds across the coastline between air and Mackay into the later on in the night that'll extend down even further south into St Lawrence and also heavy rainfall starting to be felt in those central parts of that particular area and coastline and that warning zone as we move further as it moves further towards the coastline, you can see it intensifying into a Category 4 cyclone and it will is, it is expected to make landfall and be situated on that coastline between Townsville and Proserpine between the hour, uh, early morning hours of Tuesday. At the moment, currently, it's predicted to be around 10 a.m. Queensland time. That's 11 a.m. there, Eastern Daylight Time. And as it does come through, you can see the devastation that it will be causing. We have high tides as it approaches, heavy rainfall that will lead to, will lead to severe flash flooding and also river flooding as there is a flood watch out between Cairns and Gladstone region and 260 kilometre an hour wind gusts throughout the centre and as it travels further into the interior it will bring this widespread devastation to a greater amount uh, area and region. Now if we have a look at the radar we can, uh, sorry if we have a look at the totals you can actually see how heavy this rainfall will be in the next eight days as that system crosses over. The heaviest of falls between that particular warning zone, uh, Townsville and Mackay even being inclusive uh, included in that, we can expect in excess of 400 millimetres of rain to be collected and then widespread falls further out into the state and also across the eastern coastline, even further down south past that warning zone we can expect very heavy falls as the outskirts of that system do continue to impact even that region and of course onshore, strong onshore winds reducing the moisture that it needs to feed through heavy rainfall straight down into those southern districts of the eastern coastline. So now we'll have a look at that radar where you can see it very clearly the system offshore currently about 500 kilometres away from Townsville moving in a clockwise direction it is gaining the mo uh, is building the moisture that it needs to intensify further into category three a little bit later today in terms of right now to 9 a.m we've seen about 0.2 millimeters of rain in townsville 0.6 in cooktown so not much at all rainfall hasn't kicked off as yet but we have seen intensifying, uh, the wind gusts intensifying. So starting off the morning, Mackay was averaging about 30 kilometres an hour wind gusts. Currently, the maximum wind gusts it's recorded till now is 50 kilometres an hour and Townsville itself getting into the 40s. Now, as mentioned, into this evening, we will see gales to be developing into Sunday evening between Air and Mackay. So we can expect those wind conditions to intensify. I'll just take it over to the west now, where we do have a cold front just passing through the southwestern pocket of Western Australia. You can see a few showers just touching into that southern coastal districts and also even the west coast. We haven't picked up too much as yet. Uh, to 9am, Albany about, sorry, since 9am, 3.2 millimetres of rain at Albany. 
Dunbury 1.4, Perth itself from a shower to about 2.2 millimetres of rain. Now that cold front is moving offshore eventually into the evening hours of Sunday. A few showers along the southern coastal districts, but they should be clearing, and especially along that western coastline, but very windy and gusty conditions, so not the greatest surf conditions. High pressure is dominating across the southeast. We have very warm conditions across South Australia and also dry conditions across New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania. Now hot, dry and gusty conditions have put together the perfect fire danger levels, uh, so the, the perfect conditions to elevate fire danger in South Australia, so severe fire danger for the Northwest Pastoral District and also the West Coast District. Now, of course, in regards to any of the weather occurring in Queensland at the moment, if you do require any assistance and hopefully you are getting prepared for its impact, the number to dial for the SES is 132 500.